Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, so yeah, we were out at Dolly Moor um, on Sunday just gone for the first time in the Div 1 supercar. So really, really excited about this one obviously before we went. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna have a chat about that. We're gonna show some on board and we're just gonna roll through it. So I've um, never been to, well I've been to Dali before but I've never been around the track um, so it was actually where I picked up my 125 long circuit car a fair few years ago now um, picked it up from Dali so I got to see what Dali was about um, and all that and yeah it's just a proper great little track really obviously it's more catered towards bikes but obviously supercars kind of fit in well with bikes so kind of goes hand in hand, there's loads of paddock space um, it's all decked out nicely, everyone's really friendly, staff are friendly it's not too far from us, it's only 40 minutes away in Derbyshire so yeah, just can't wait, um, Darley Moor anymore really um, great little track, um, super cool um, so yeah obviously we got there, unpacked uh, absolutely loads of paddock space like we were right next to the W grid it's just pick your spot really it's uh, really nice like that um, so we got there got all prepped obviously we had done basically all the prep before we'd even got to the track so it's just a case of get it out um, and run with it so yeah things were going pretty well we got all set up um, and then things ticked by so I thought it was a practice first um, it wasn't, it's timed quali, so that's fun. Um, and yeah, we had a little bit of an issue getting the car going, which is unusual because every time we fired it up here, it's been absolutely fine. Um, but we did eventually get it running, but I think us starting it up here, you know, not really revving it out, it got very, very, very rich. Um, it was basically our downfall uh, at the beginning so um, we went down for the noise testing um, I drove it down everyone else brings them out on trolleys so I just sat there basically gumming up the engine um, even more so we tried to go out for timed quality and I basically just didn't even get out of the pits barely so um, yeah that wasn't great so yeah I'll put some uh, quite a short bit of onboard on for that so check that out here So as you can see, just 
didn't make it out at all um, and what I, what I learned I'd already been given this um, piece of advice by somebody but what I learned is it's just such a small amount of throttle because like, the engine picks up like really quickly so it's just literally just a quick tap on the throttle and you kind of just keep pulsing the engine to um, to keep it clear but obviously the things I've driven I'm quite used to just having a bit of a lead foot um, so I was really having to get used to that technique really over over the weekend um, and also I'm used to gearbox where I kind of just smack it into first and just drive off but you can't really seem to do that with the division one you you put it in first and then you clutch it and you kind of feed the clutch in with the throttle and pull away like that so all the learning all the learning curve um, so that was that was disappointing because obviously didn't get to get out and I just really needed the the track time and the field to get used to the car so one of them things um, so what we also decided to do because I didn't think it was all that but we decided to change the main jetting as well in the carbs um, so we dropped a couple of sizes on the jet um, and then when we fired that up um, it was just kind of really running sweet on the stand so big thank you to Ian Harrison of Viper Racing UK um, who gave us some crucial advice and actually came over to help and without his help I don't think we'd have made um, the grid for race one so yeah race one was an interesting one um, obviously we were starting at the back because we didn't qualify and it was just learn the, tra the track in race one uh, really so um, again I struggled to get out of the pits a little bit um, but I did get going um, in this one so I was on the track um, and racing so that was uh, that was good at least we were out on the track and being able to learn and learn the car and just learn the track as well um, and yeah we actually we actually had a really good race we came from the back uh, came came through there's quite a lot of 450s on the grid so we came through those and kind of to my surprise we finished third on the road considering we started all the way at the back um, so yeah that was a uh, that was a pleasant surprise really really cool to get that result under our belt um, and then that led really nicely into oh, so what, what I'll do actually I'll show some on board of that race one uh, where you can see me get up to speed
niggling issue that we had in race two was um, the, the gear shift kept coming loose so you'll see me in the video keep having to change gear and then twist it back on so uh, that was uh, that was quite fun doing that at about 120 mile an hour um, but the first experience of these carts is just honestly it's still now just hard to comprehend like they are just so quick and it's not like they've obviously got a lot of power so when you when you pull the gear there is a lot of power there but it doesn't feel like a KZ because I don't I don't think you can really feel anything more than a KZ on a short circuit that really shoves you back in the seat but the, dif the difference with the division one is it just keeps pulling like you just pull a gear and you know you're doing like 130 mile an hour before you know it and Obviously, if you're only ever really used to doing like between 70 mile an hour in a you know a normal senior X30 senior Rotex or you know kind of 90-ish in a KZ at the end of like fullback straight or something like that, then when you get in one of these and then you're suddenly doing 130 hurtling towards like a small chicane, it's just so different and it's you know it just takes you a minute to get your head around that and having to spot your braking and turning points so much quicker than you would normally have to. Um, and dial is quite bumpy as well, and obviously you're laying down in a supercar pretty much. And so you, your vision's all over the place, so it's just, it's just unreal. It's absolutely unreal, honestly. It's the quickest thing I've driven. It's the most fun thing I've driven. Just, yeah, if you ever get a chance to drive one of these things, you've got to take it because they are just animals. Um, yeah, I can't really see myself wanting to drive much more after this because they're they're just so fun, really fun. Um, so yeah, that was that was race one, uh, getting used to it, and obviously then we got that result. We ran reliably, so that was all good, all part of the plan. Then we went into race two. Um, so again, didn't realise really how the grids formed up, but because we finished third, uh, we started third in race two. So that was fun, uh, obviously not, not being at the back, actually starting somewhere in the grid. And yeah, somehow, um, even though there were a couple of failures from other carts, somehow we brought it home uh, for the win. So that was totally uh, unexpected really. So um, yeah, I will throw up some of the onboard for that now. So check this out.
So unfortunately, the GoPro stopped uh, about three quarters of the way through that race, which was a shame because you see the number 12 I was battling with get me back and then we have a little battle again uh, towards the end um, so that was a shame but yeah the GoPro failed for some reason um, so yeah like still can't really believe that we won um, and we actually won quite a few prizes um, we got a £100 Teng Tools voucher um, as you can see there I'll cover the code so that was cool. Uh, we've got Tang Tools cap, uh, we've got beer, and obviously a trophy as well. So Tang Tools voucher will be really useful. And you know, there's a couple of couple of tools that that we need. Um, so that will be super helpful. It's probably like the most that we've ever won in karting at all. So <laughs> quite funny, really. Um, but yeah, um, we weren't without issue in that one. Um, so unbeknown to me on the last lap uh, my rear wing had failed so um, the rear wing must be kind of bonded together and half of it is lifted up and obviously then doing like 120 130 mile an hour it's come off so it flew off down the back straight so we got it back and thankfully it's still intact so we've got a bit of a repair job to do f before Donington GP um, which is coming up in a couple of weeks time so obviously all focus on that now um, one of my, well, my favourite track basically in the world I love Donington and it's only down the road again so yeah really really looking forward to that one uh, we're doing the Thursday test day and then the races on the Saturday Sunday um, and we will have a bit of a new livery as well so we'll have all the pulse livery on there so the cart will look a little bit different so yeah all eyes on that so thank you to Supercart in UK, um, Terry and Sue Bateman for just a really well run meeting. They were super helpful. Obviously our first time we had some questions um, they couldn't have done more to help us. Great banter, great laugh. Um, so yeah, if you've got a long circuit Supercar, you know, please support them. Um, Dolly's a great little track, great little club. Um, they they need some support so yeah we'll hopefully be supporting them a little bit next year um, and yeah obviously thank you to Tang Tools for putting the voucher up and we'll use that shortly so big thank you to them so yeah we will catch you at the Donington GP if you're there we'll see you um, I'll try and do some more video at that track um, and probably after it as well and plenty of onboards too so yeah Catch you later.